Hi, hello and welcome back to Kelo Dimakse presented to you by Dream11. Uh, on today's episode of uh, Kelo Dimakse presented to you by Dream11, we'll be looking at the game between CSK and GT. It's the qualifier one of IPL 2023. Uh, so what what does the game bring into balance? We have to look some look at something that's happened in the past between these two teams, uh, which is largely the game that GT and CSK played at Ahmedabad. In that game, GT totally dominated the game. They didn't look like they were going to lose the game. However, at the back half, CSK made a slight comeback, but GT managed to prevail it. GT has been the team to beat in the last two seasons of the IPL. CSK have been a dominant force at home. They've really dominated with spin and also handled spin pretty well at this particular venue. This is going to happen at Chennai Chepok, uh, which is a stronghold for CSK. Dhoni knows how to handle his spinners. Uh, CSK's batting lineup against spin has been amazing. Uh, so this game uh, will have only two facets to it. One, who's going to be a captain and vice captain? Because largely the entire team that most of the fantasy players will be picking will be very similar. They'll all have the Shubman Gills. They'll all have the Devon Conways. They'll all have the Rituraj Gaikwads. Uh, it's going to be pretty much the same. I think what they might try to gamble upon is maybe leaving out Riddhiman Saha and trying to get an extra all-rounder and maybe Mohin Ali or maybe have an extra bowler in Tikshna. These are all the debatable issues for fantasy players on this particular contest. But however, I'd like to keep it really simple in terms of what everybody will go with. Riddhiman Saha is a good keeper who plays spin pretty decently. Uh, he will he will look to sweep and take the attack on early on. So I've gone with Riddhiman Saha and Devon Conway as two wicket keepers for the day. That's my decision. I have not gone for an extra bowler on an all-rounder. It might be tempting to do that, but at Chennai, I think Riddhiman Saha will be okay. He's remember he's played for CSK years ago and has made few handy runs here. And he handles spin really well, can sweep. These are all points going in favor of Riddhiman Saha as a cricketer when I look at it. But yeah, at the end of the day, you can go with your hunch as always. I've gone with four batsmen, two keepers, two all-rounders and three bowlers. So like I said, the two keepers are Devon Conway and Riddhiman Saha. Four batters are stock standard. I think they also have a differentiator and that I think will be the differentiator for this day. But most people will also think on these lines if you've been playing fantasy for years. Um, the three batters that will be a no-brainer are Shubman Gill, Rituraj Gaikwad and Shivam Dubey. Uh, Shivam Dubey has lit the entire the entire tournament allied with his performances at Chennai has hit spin amazingly, if not has been the best batter in this competition, uh, especially against spin, the way he is hit spin. Uh, and the final batter in that four, uh, four-man batting wing is uh, Ambati Raidu. Uh, purely because of his record against Rashid Khan, I've got him in there. And the way CSK have backed him uh, with his batting and the way he plays spin, I think he will play a crucial role. They will want him up in the batting order, playing and facing Rashid Khan, if Rituraj Gaikwad is not batting with someone else during that point of time. Because uh, Rituraj Gaikwad, remember, handled him really well at uh, Gujarat. But on a track like this, years ago, Shane Watson and Ambati Raidu really climbed into him, and into him and had a great year against uh, Rashid Khan. Even at Pune, they played him really well. So I think that's one thing CSK will be banking upon. Two all-rounders, Hardik Pandya and Ravindra Jadeja. Ravindra Jadeja has been the best spinner in Chennai because he's played all, all his home games at Chennai and has also done well. And the second all-rounder is Hardik Pandya, something that we might have to look at because he's not batting, he's not bowling in the last few games. But however, Kamath Diyar, Kamath the man, he will, I think, come in and bat. And he's had a decent record in Chennai as well. So, he would probably come at the back end trying to target the fast bowlers. Uh, I don't know if he'll walk in at three or whether he'll have Sai Sudarshan come in. But I have gone in with standard Hardik Pandya and Ravinder Jadeja. And three bowlers are Mohamed Shami, Rashid Khan and Matisha Patirana. Uh, I'll go through the team once again. Two keepers, Ridhiman Saha, Devon Conway, Ambati Raidu, the four, Ambati Raidu, the starter of the four batsmen uh, theory that I've got. Shivam Dubey, Shubman Gill and Rituraj Gaikwad finish my four batters. The two all-rounders are Hardik Pandya and Ravinder Jadeja. Three bowlers are Mohamed Shami, Rashid Khan and Matisha Patirana. Now the debate for the captain and vice-captain. There are three strong candidates. Rituraj Gaikwad, uh, Devon Conway and Shubman Gill. And the fourth candidate that we can look at is... Rashid Khan. But however, I think Rashid Khan with the, with the matchup and the way CSK would approach him, maybe look to see him through. Uh, and even Noor Ahmad is an exciting option, but I have not looked at it. I have kept it very standard, which is how we go into these games. Like how these teams keep it very simple for, the, uh, for these big games. We must also keep it simple, try and take players that most players are taking and try and differentiate using Raidu in this game or maybe the captain and the vice captain. Uh, it is very tempting to go to Shubman Gill. However, Shubman Gill on this pitch at Chennai, Will he be as effective as maybe Rituraj Gaikwad, who's got a good record against Gujarat and Devon Conway? I thought about it long and hard. And then I decided I'll go with Rituraj Gaikwad as my captain and Devon Conway as my vice captain. In fact, YC was a Devon Conway as captain and Vice uh, Gaikwad as vice captain is also feasible. 
the only problem for devon conway in this particular game might be rashid khan's four overs but i still think he's cracked a code to make those runs really consistently at chepok so i've gone in with rituraj gaikwad as my captain and devon conway as my vice captain does it mean i pick chennai super kings as winners that i don't know but i think these guys will make runs even picking shubman gill is not a bad call but again go with your instinct my team i've got uh, gaikwad as a captain and vice captain is devon conway once again i'll go through the team saha and conway as two keepers rai do dubey gill and gaikwad as four batters pandya and jadeja as two all rounders shami uh, rashid khan and patirana as my three bowlers captain is rituraj gaikwad and vice captain is devon conway so that's my team as always take in the inputs think about whatever points i said and as always on kelo dimag se presented to you by dream 11 go with your gut feel thank you